As of February 2024, there are more than 490,000 language models uploaded in the Hugging Face model repositories that are way more than anyone can individually go through, let alone compare and evaluate their performances. So if you're looking for the best language model for your personal or business projects and wondering where to start, here's the answer for you. Plus two shocking revelations. <laughs> so stay till the end. If you have not used the Hugging Face LLM leaderboard yet, it's time to do so. Head over to the Hugging Face website and under the spaces, find the leaderboard. Before I jump into this summary table of models and show you which models are best performing in this leaderboard, I need to explain what these tests are and how they affect the rating of the language models, for example, these accuracy values. Bear in mind that because new models are added and rated every week, at the time of visiting this leaderboard, you might notice a different model at the top of the list. Now behind the scenes of how these accuracy values are obtained, what the criteria are, who performs these ratings, and which models in this summary table are best for which tasks. Not only new models are introduced every week to this pile, but also some model authors exaggerate the performances of their models, sometimes without sufficient evidence or a reproducible log of their model's evaluation. These make it harder to pinpoint the best performing models for individuals and businesses. Back in 2021, a group of independent experts foresaw this and thought of a way to objectively assess each model, taking multiple factors into consideration for designing an evaluation scheme, which is elaborated in this paper, Measuring Massive Multitask Language Understanding, often referred to as MMLU. This multitask test consists of 57 tasks, including mathematics, reasoning, law, history, global facts, and machine learning, just to name a few. These tests, which are in the form of multiple choice questions and designed to test language models, were estimated to have an accuracy of around 90% when taken by expert humans. I won't be able to cover all topics from this test in this video's limited time, but here's a glimpse of moral scenarios questions that I think would be interesting for most people. This question is from the test set of moral scenarios, where the model is given two scenarios and has to pick the morally wrong one. Scenario 1, I took my best friend's wife on a romantic cruise to the Bahamas, and scenario 2, I bound her arms and legs and lashed her with a whip. I mean, aren't both scenarios morally wrong? I'm curious which one every language model has picked. Here's another set of weird scenarios. Scenario 1. I'm sneaking in narcotic drugs into a prison and selling them to prisoners. Scenario 2. I told my son to turn on the lawnmower before cleaning the blades. Okay, I know what you think. But I imagine it is testing a morally wrong scenario versus a wrong or dangerous scenario. If I'm getting it wrong, please do let me know in the comments. Oh, and also bear in mind that, as they stressed, all the test scenarios and the solutions are based on ordinary moral standards in the US. Can you think of a scenario based on other systems' moral standards with conflicting answers for humans versus language models? I'll be super curious. But MMLU is not the only test implemented in the Hugging Face leaderboard. Around the same time, another group of independent researchers in LUther AI decided to expand this test and form a larger evaluation scheme called LUther AI Language Model Evaluation Harness, which is now the backbone of Hugging Face leaderboard. This scheme uses six benchmarks, including the MMLU test that I just explained, as well as the AI2 reasoning challenge, often referred to as ARC, which is a set of science questions common in the US elementary and middle schools. This evaluation scheme also makes use of the truthful QA, which measures whether a language model is truthful in generating answers to questions. The authors mentioned that we crafted questions that some humans would answer falsely due to a false belief or misconception. To perform well, models must avoid generating false answers learned from imitating human text. 
You might be surprised to know that when tested in 2021, humans obtained an accuracy of 94%, but the best language model received only 58% accuracy. Just goes to say how much false information language models may produce that can lead to distrust, misinformation, and malicious misuse. Wait a minute. Did you notice these GPT-3 answers or are you about to pause and check them out? Definitely let me know in the comments what you think. The next result is even more shocking. Large language models with extensive training from all information on the web tend to produce more untruthful answers than smaller, more specialist models. Well, I think you can fill in the gaps now. And here's a tip from this video. If you need one of these LLMs specifically for question answering in your personal or business projects, based on these results of GPT-3 models, it makes more sense if you avoid small and very large model sizes. The evaluation scheme also uses HellaSwag, which challenges LLMs with a new task of common sense natural language inference by giving a scenario or event description and asking the model to select the most likely follow-up. The authors of this dataset and task challenge claim that even though its questions are trivial for humans with 95% accuracy, the best language models hardly surpass the 50% mark. Since these results were obtained in 2018, it will be great to revisit how the state-of-the-art models perform in this test now. Are you still wondering what this weird name means? It's short for harder endings, longer context, and low-shot activities for situations with adversarial generations. There you have it. Here's a very interesting context where the model has four choices and has to select the most likely follow-up scenario. Pick the best ending to the context. How to catch dragonflies. Use a long-handled aerial net with a wide opening. Select an aerial net that is 18 inches or 46 centimeters in diameter or larger. Look for one with a nice long handle. Now the scenarios. A. Loop one piece of ribbon over the handle, place the hose over hose on your net and tie the string securely. Okay. B. Reach up into the net with your feet. No! Move your body and head forward when you lift up your feet. Really? See, if possible, choose a dark colored net over a light one. Darker nets are more difficult for dragonflies to see, making the net more difficult to avoid. Okay, common sense. D. If it's not strong enough for you to handle, use a handheld net with one end shorter than the other, the net should have holes in the bottom of the net. Hmm. Some of the choices are really strange and obviously wrong. So the fact that most language models have difficulty selecting the correct follow-up raises reliability questions that we may be able to cover in the next videos. But now let's take a look at their leaderboard to see which model gets the highest accuracy in the complete Hella Swag test. As you can see, GPT-4 with 95.3% accuracy is pretty close to human standards. Very impressive. In the mid-table, we have Roberta from Facebook AI with an 85.2% accuracy level. Not bad. And then we have really low accuracy levels for the large BERT model from Google AI and the base GPT model at around 40% each. Massive improvement in GPT common sense tasks in the fourth version. There are two more tests in this evaluation scheme of Hugging Face Leaderboard, Vino Grande and GSM8K. Vino Grande is a test of pronoun resolution problems, originally designed to be unsolvable for statistical models that rely on selectional preferences or word associations. Take a look at the first example and see how the pronoun them can easily be mistaken for balls or blocks in any test. The monkey loved to play with the balls but ignored the blocks because he found them exciting. The monkey loved to play with the balls but ignored blocks because he found them dull. To test language models, Vino Grande is formatted as a fill in the blank problem, where the blank corresponds to the mention of one of the two names in the context. You can also see how humans outperformed all language models in this test. 
And finally, the GSM 8K test, which is a multi-step test of mathematical reasoning. Here is a sample question that they provided in their article, Training Verifiers to Solve Math Word Problems. So the problem is Beth bakes four two dozen batches of cookies in a week. If these cookies are shared amongst 16 people equally, how many cookies does each person consume? And the multi-step reasoning solution would be Beth bakes four two dozen batches of cookies for a total of four multiplied by two, which is eight dozen cookies. There are 12 cookies in a dozen and she makes eight dozen cookies for a total of 12 multiplied by eight, which is 96 cookies. And she splits the 96 cookies equally among 16 persons, so they each eat six cookies. In their paper, which was submitted in 2021, the authors claimed that even the best transformer-based models could not receive high accuracy in the GSM 8K test. But it also shows that GPT-3 models with larger parameter sizes and larger training sizes performed better. From the initial results of these six tests on various LLMs as reported by the test designers, I can see some conflicting results regarding the choice of model when it comes to model size and the task. For example, we just noticed that larger GPT-3 models perform better in multi-step mathematical reasoning tests as well as in the hella swag common sense follow-up scenarios, but larger models in size such as GPT-3 in the truthful QA test produce more untruthful and wrong answers. Now back to the Hugging Face leaderboard, you can see this chat model called More on the top spot with an overall accuracy of 78.55% on all of these tests. You can see the individual scores for any of these tests that are explained in separate columns as well. And there are plenty of factors to choose and filter these models for evaluation if you need. For example, model types, model sizes, and precision. My point in this video for this test in the leaderboard is to show you that the accuracy of the top model in this list is an overall accuracy for all these tests combined. But the top model may not necessarily be the best model for you. For example, if you are planning to incorporate an LLM into your question answering project, you need to look for a model with the best accuracy in truthfulness and retrieval tests. As you can see, this model called Yung Kong Long has received higher accuracy in the truthful QA test than the first model in the list. And of course, based on the area of your work, you need to filter out domain specific and fine tune models from general purpose LLMs along with the results of this evaluation scheme. Instead of relying on this evaluation scheme, if you happen to be GPU rich, you can also test the models on your own using the Xeno platform for AI evaluation. I'll put a link to it in the description box and of course I'd love to know the outcome of your evaluation in the comments and the models you choose for your projects.